Hello to everyone who watches this video. As usual, we are very glad to see you on our channel. Now we are in a coniferous forest. We arrived at already familiar places to look for military artifacts from the Second World War. Military actions were held all around these places. Confirmation of this are nothing more than the finds that were found here during many expeditions. We hope to find something interesting and unusual. Stay on our channel and in any case do not switch. Also do not forget to wish us good luck. We will begin. Some time passed and we began to search. The first find did not take long to wait. We pulled out of the ground some incomprehensible round metal object. At first glance, this object resembles a kind of cover. Let's clean the find to take a closer look at it. Most likely this is the lid. Unfortunately after cleaning I did not find on the subject any identification marks and stamps. Perhaps, after more rigid mechanical cleaning, we will be able to see something here. After this object we found some more incomprehensible finds. Let's simply, without superfluous words look at these findings in order not to drag out too much time. There was another signal from the metal detector. As you can see the next find was a spoon. This metal find we dug next to the pine. Unfortunately, with the statement I cannot say anything about this find. Maybe it was a Soviet spoon, or maybe German. It can also be that this is some kind of more modern copy that has nothing to do with war and military times. Somehow this is a good find. We will hope that this is certainly a military copy. Let's go look further. We dug up another pit. Like most others, the signal sounded in the metal sector. We pulled out of the ground, in my opinion a very interesting artifact. Let's clean this find as it shouldn't look closer. As you can see it is an axe. That's how this hatchet looks after a little cleaning with gloves. It seems to me that this object was initially longer. Originally it was most likely a pickaxe. Later someone, for some strange reason, remade the pick and the hatchet. After such original modification, this tool can be used both as an axe and as a hammer. Cool thing. After this interesting thing, we found some more minor military finds. Let's look at these findings quickly.
sounded a sufficiently powerful signal of a metal detector. My partner had to dig a big enough hole to get to the find. Just look what we just found. We did not expect this to be honest. Initially, we were even a little scared, but good, the body of this thing was fragmented. This projectile is completely empty inside so the find can be considered safe. Let's clean this find as it should. This is a Soviet 6-point mine, 82 mm. Men? Was equipped with 3.5 kg of additional charges and carried 400 grams of explosives. Explosion of the mine gave 400-600 fragments, which ensured the defeat of manpower within a radius of 60 meters from the place of the rupture. The shell of 82 mm artillery mines of pre-war production was cast from cast iron using model bar rigging, but after the Great Patriotic War, it became necessary to increase the production of mines and their production at non-specialized enterprises. In practice, during the Great Patriotic War, mortar fire was fired not only by regular 82mm Soviet, but also captured 81mm German, and also delivered by land-lease 81mm American mines. It was only necessary to compile tables with an amendment to the data of the site. In my opinion, this is an excellent entourage for a museum or a private collection. Also my partner was visited by the crazy idea of making of this mine something like a flower pot. Looks pretty interesting, is not it? After some time we found another military find. This round object is similar to a box. What do you think? Will we be able to open this box? Personally I think not. Let's clean the find out a little. It turns out that I was wrong. With a little effort we managed to open this box. Inside this box we see barely escaped pieces of paper. We have not found such things before. How do you think why this capacity could serve? I think that it is possible for some additional accessories for a gas mask. We are waiting for your opinion on all of today's incomprehensible findings in the comments under this video. We will conclude our today's expedition in search of military artifacts from the times of the Second World War in the forest. In my opinion we did a great job. The result of this day is impressive with the number and variety of findings. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel in order not to miss more cool videos. Click on the bell and get notified of new releases. Also do not forget to share this video on social networks and with friends. We wish you good luck and more valuable finds. See you soon.